welcome friends today we shall discuss some questions from the exercise 1.2 of the topic differentiation here we will first of all take one question question number 4 as per the textbook if fx is equal to x cube plus x minus 2 find f inverse dash minus 2 this is a corrected question i will talk about it later now in such questions we have to first understand this notation we are familiar with uh, the notation dy by dx and dx by dy so the original rule is if you remember rule for derivative of inverse function says that dx by dy is equal to 1 upon dy by dx whenever dy by dx is not 0. Now this dx by dy and dy by dx these are uh, easily understood. What we learn is y is equal to fx is a given function then its inverse function is defined as x is equal to f inverse y so y is equal to fx if you differentiate it means dy by dy by dx derivative of y means dy by dx is equal to we sometimes write fx as f fx the derivative as f dash x Similarly, derivative of x is written as dx by dy with respect to y of course, which is in other notation f inverse y f inverse dash y f inverse dash f inverse dash y. Okay, so you can see these notations f dash x and f inverse dash y in this example. This f inverse dash minus 2 is asked means we have to find f inverse dash y first. And how do you write the rule then in these new notations? See now whenever y is equal to fx, we understand x is equal to f inverse y. Then we write dy by dx which is the differentiation of y with respect to x which is also termed as or written as f dash x and dx by dy is also written as f inverse dash y. So writing these notations here dx by dy means f inverse dash x f inverse dash y f inverse dash y is equal to 1 upon what is dy by dx dy by dx is f dash x f dash x. Remember this this rule then this and this is the same this both mean the same thing dy by dx uh, uh, dx by dy is 1 upon dy by dx and f inverse y is 1 upon, one upon f dash x so in this example you will use those starting with our answer here starting our answer here you have to use this f inverse of minus 2 is 1 upon f dash what is the x has to be uh, thought about yet fx is written so i shall not write it again once again find out f dash x initially f dash x looking at this expression is 3x square plus x as derivative is 1 minus 2 derivative is 0 then we need to know f inverse dash minus 2. So y is equal to clearly minus 2 is written. At y is equal to minus 2, what will happen to this function? y is fx and fx is minus 2. So write minus 2 here. So from the function's definition, minus 2 can be written equal to x cube plus x 
minus 2. What we have done here is fx means y is minus 2. At that time, what is x? As that has to be found out. Minus 2 getting cancelled, and you get minus 2 cancelled, and you get x cube plus x is equal to 0, which means x, if you factorize, x into x square plus 1 is equal to 0. x square plus 1 is equal to 0. If you still go on, it will give you x is equal to 0 or other values x square is equal to minus 1. This will not give you real value. Therefore, we can accept only one value x is equal to 0, this value. So, at therefore, y equal to minus 2 at y equal to minus 2, what is x? x is equal to x is equal to 0. So, we shall now use this formula, put y equal to minus 2 here. Therefore, f inverse or f inverse dash of y is equal to, I am just writing this formula, 1 upon f dash x. Now, write y as minus 2, that means it is f inverse dash minus 2 is equal to 1 upon, what is f dash? x means f dash, what is the corresponding value of x? We found is 0. Therefore, continuing this answer, we have f inverse dash minus 2 is equal to 1 upon f dash 0. What is f dash x? f dash x is 3x square plus 1. So, f dash x means 3x square plus 1 means 3 into x is value 0 square plus 1. And you can solve this to get 1 upon 3 into 0 square is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 upon 1 is 1. So, in this manner the answer is f dash, uh, f inverse dash minus 2 is equal to 1. In the textbook, this question is misprint as f inverse dash instead of minus 2, they have originally asked it as f inverse dash 0. And for that, you do not get the answer given in the textbook. The answer given in the textbook is 1, but that does not happen with x is equal to or with y equal to minus 2. Oh, sorry, y equal to 0. Therefore, I have corrected it and wrote it as minus 2. Normally, these simplifications are easy. So, do not worry too much about the factorization. There are no, not too many questions of this type. But you can practice similar questions to understand. Okay. Let us solve this new question now. This is question number 5 in the exercise. Here they want to want you to show using derivatives show that tan inverse of x plus cot inverse of x is equal to pi by 2 using derivatives you have to show this this kind of question is there. How do you answer this? We will take this tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to f x. So, let f x is equal to tan inverse x plus cot inverse x. Now, we can differentiate it. 
So differentiating with respect to x, we get differentiating with respect to x, we get uh, f dash x is equal to tan inverse x. If you differentiate, it will give you 1 upon 1 plus x square plus derivative of cot inverse x is minus 1 upon 1 plus x square. If you add these two, you will get 0. So, f dash x found out equal to 0, which means f x is a constant function. Derivative of constant is 0 and if you find derivative of some function is 0, it means that function is a constant function. So, let it be c for, for our con convenience where c is some constant which is not known yet. What we have so far proved is f x means tan inverse x plus cot inverse x. And we have proved it equal to some constant c. We want to show this c equal to pi by 2. And for that, I need to make some arrangements. So, in the next part, I shall use some value of x, which is, which will be convenient for me. For example, tan inverse of 1, I know is pi by 4 cot inverse of 1 also that is also known to me. So, put x is equal to 1 and see what happens. Put x is equal to 1. So, which means I will get tan inverse 1 plus cot inverse 1 is equal to c. So you can choose any other value also half or 1 by 4 or any other value, but that will be difficult to you. Tan inverse 1 is easily known to me. Therefore, I am writing 1 pi by 4 plus cot inverse 1 that is also pi by 4 which is equal to c. Therefore, c pi by 4 plus pi by 4 is 2 pi by 4 which is pi by 2. So, pi by 2 is equal to c. And you wanted to find this c which is found. So, use this value of c and put it here in earlier found state. Here if you put that c is value, what will you get? 10 inverse x plus 14 inverse x is equal to 1. So, name this as name this as 1 this as 2 and use these 2 to get from 1 and 2 therefore, from 1 and 2 what I get is tan inverse x plus cot inverse x is equal to value of c found is pi by 2. There is one more example shown in the textbook also similar one sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 and uh, one third remaining relation is in between sec inverse x and cos cosec inverse x that is also uh, proved in the same manner. Okay. So, all these examples at home and we shall see new few examples in the next video. Thank you.